We begin with breaking news. Eyewitness News has confirmed that the main suspect in the 1996 murder of Debbie Dorian worked as a Lyft driver. The shocking crime happened back in 96, and CBS 47's Kirsten Mitchell uncovered startling new details. She joins us live. Kirsten. Well, I went the extra mile and found a secondary Facebook page belonging to Nikki Stain. On that page, he posted videos of himself in a car decked out with colorful lights. Another video filmed by him in his car showed two women outside of his window at a bank ATM. Tonight, I dug deeper and have confirmed that he was a Lyft driver. The man arrested in connection to a series of sexual assaults in Visalia and a named primary suspect in a murder case was a Lyft driver. His access just now revoked after we reached out to Lyft. A Lyft spokesperson said, quote, safety is fundamental to Lyft. This individual has not used Lyft since 2017. Based on this information, his access to Lyft has been permanently removed, and we stand ready to assist law enforcement with their investigation. Nikki Stain is every woman's nightmare. He appears to be a regular person, and he is a sexual predator uh, who has terrorized women throughout this valley. Fresno police say 52-year-old Nikki Dwayne Stain is a primary suspect in the gruesome murder of Fresno State student Debbie Dorian in 1996. Uh, the father found uh, his daughter, 22-year-old Debbie Dorian, uh, bound, uh, gagged, uh, and had been uh, raped and was deceased. Investigators say his DNA was a match from evidence found at both a Visalia sexual assault in 1999 and Dorian's murder scene, both crimes occurring two decades ago. This shows uh, how important DNA analysis is to the resolution of crimes. Criminal defense attorney David Mugridge says the new genetic genealogy technology used in this case opens the door for other cold cases. Visalia police arrested Stain on a John Doe warrant based on a DNA profile Wednesday at the Visalia Mall where he worked. Meanwhile, Fresno detectives collected hundreds of items from his home that could be used as evidence. I wish I'd been there. I wish I could have protected her. Debbie's mother in 2016 saying faith is what got her through the past 20 years not knowing who killed her daughter. And the fact that we have a primary suspect now identified pending an arrest uh, is that that absolute justice that they uh, had been waiting for for 23 years. And Fresno police confirmed they are aware Stain worked as a Lyft driver and say that no assaults have been reported to them involving his passengers. Stain pled not guilty to the sexual assault charges filed in Tulare County. He's currently in jail without bond. In the studio, Kirsten Mitchell, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.